I felt under pressure if he wasn't doing well. And it, I, I, at times I struggled to cope with that because I wanted us to do well so bad. And then that affects your performances. I had kids really young and it was really tough at times. And you, But you've got to be able to get through that. If you don't get through that, you end up probably going down the league. I asked you about Declan Rice and he'd only played a couple of games. And you said he's the real deal. Yeah, well, um, I didn't say at the time, Cammy, that he would probably take my armband at some point. <laughs> <laughs> From the moment I I see him in, in, in pre-season training one season, I knew that was going to happen. If there was one person that was going to captain West Ham after me and I was going to probably watch for the last 18 months of my career in my position, um, it would be him. In ways, I see him more as a, a brother than I do uh, I say son but I've got a son that's 12 and takes a bit older than him <laughs> but mm. he's just such a such a good player such a good person he's a better person than his player and that's, that's, that's going some Cammy you know what I mean mm. one of the things I think I like in the, in the book when you talk about him when he first got involved and he loved the banter he loved you lot sort of getting into him he had a real confidence in training. But when he started playing those first few games, there was a couple of games, I think he got taken off at half time and he'd, he'd made a few mistakes. But he wore those mistakes really well. He didn't he didn't struggle with the mistakes. He didn't go into himself. He sort of owned, took ownership of those mistakes and was happy to accept the criticism and go, right, I'm yeah. going to learn from that rather than thinking I'm not good enough for this. It needs to happen, Ben. Like When you're playing at that level, it needs to happen. You need to have that experience of making mistakes mm -hmm. because... I say to the young boys in the academy now, and football is ruthless. Like, everyone sees the it glamorised and what comes out of football because there is only a small, small minority of the world's population that can play at that level. And obviously, people love the game, so that's why there's so much money in the game. But when, 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 you, when you're growing up, and you look at football and you think, oh, yeah, you get nice houses, big, uh, nice cars and loads of money. Like the the stuff you that comes with it, the, you, the mental strength you need to take, especially now with social media and all these sites that glamorise getting nutmegged and it's it's not real football. Like the real football is going out there on a Saturday and, 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 and putting a performance in and it's not easy like there's times I say in a book where I really struggled like really struggled with the with the mental side of, of, of the game because I think it was for me it was harder because everywhere I went I spoke about West Ham I, I'd go in the garage at the bottom of my road I'd go and watch my son play I'd go to have something to eat West Ham was my life I always I felt under pressure if he wasn't doing well and it, I, I, at times I struggled to cope with that because I wanted us to do well so bad and then that affects your performances. I had kids really young and it was really tough at times. And you, But you've got to be able to get through that. If you don't get through that, you end up probably going down the league. Deck coped with that. I see that early doors. There was bits of me that I see in him when I was young where I was, I didn't, I didn't give a really. Do you know what I mean? If I made a mistake, I just, I wouldn't even care. I'd go and play the next, I'd get asked for the ball the, the, the next game in the same position and uh, and, and hopefully learn from it. Um, and, and that's what he's done. And, there's not for me there's no surprise I, I think he's going to get better if anything